now we are going to discuss question number 5.31 and in this question it is given to you a train runs along an unbanked circular track of radius 30 meter at a speed of 54 kilometer per hour clear so now let us try to understand speed of a train is given to you uh, 54 kilometer per hour so I can write like this this is 54 divide multiply 5 by 18 clear so I can say this is equal to 15 meter per second clear this is the speed of a train clear now it is also given a train runs along an unbanked circular track of radius 30 meter so let's suppose here we have this unbanked circular track let's suppose from center I am taking this is the position of a train and radius is given to you this is r clear and value of r we have 30 meter okay mass of a train is given to you 10 to the power 6 kg clear so we can say mass of a train this is given to you 10 to the power 6 kilogram clear now in this question it is asking what provides the centripetal force required for this purpose the engine or the rails now let us try to understand let's suppose this is a railway track clear we can say when the train is actually moving in a circular path at that time the outer rail of that uh, path we can say the outer rail of that part it provides the necessary centripetal force yes or no so I can say here definitely centripetal force that is provided by the rails clear everyone or you can say if we talk about necessary uh, centripetal force because uh, let's suppose I am assuming here we have a train definitely this is a rail so let's suppose we have a train this train is having uniform uh, circular motion clear so at that time you can see because it is having certain velocity definitely a centrifugal force is acting that is uh, normal outward direction clear but we know here we have a rail and this rail is preventing train to move out of the track yes or no it means I can see here a force if we talk about ground reference I can see centripetal force is acting towards center along a radius so first answer is clear to you the rails are providing necessary centripetal force clear what is angle of banking required to prevent wearing out of a rail so definitely from the formula you know if you know the concept of a banking of a road in a banking of a road if we are not taking friction into consideration we can write like this 10 theta is given by v square by rg clear so from here we can see our objective in this question is to calculate angle so value of v value of v it is given this is 15 meter per second so we can say this is 15 square divided by radius radius is given to you this is 30 meter and it is multiplied with I can say this is 10 clear so this is 10 clear from here we can see we can write like this 15 multiply 15 divided by 30 multiply 10 clear to everyone so now we can see this one is 2 clear we can say uh, this is 3 and this one is 2 clear so from here I can write like this 10 theta this is given by 3 by 4 clear so now if you know a right angle triangle we can say let's suppose this angle is theta we can say this is 3 this one is 4 clear so 10 theta equal to 3 by 4 I can say this is equal to 10 of 37 clear so from here we can say uh, we can say the angle of banking that is given by 37 degree clear so correct answer we have theta equal to 37 degree clear to everyone so this is all about this question